am Lou with another episode of My Car Story and today I'm out in New York and the reason why I'm out here is at the Saratoga Auto Museum on 6-3-2003. We're going to have a car show, muscle car show. Come on out, you'll meet Alan, myself, and you'll see some great muscle cars. This one's not a muscle car, but when I saw his collection, I knew you'd wanted to see it. Alan, nice to see you. What year make and model is this one? Uh, this is a 1956 Arnold Bristol, and it's called a Deluxe. And it's a Deluxe because? Uh, side, uh, side windows, uh, and some annuities uh, on the dashboard. Let's take a look at our featured attraction. So let me grab the camera and we'll see what the Arnold Bristol Deluxe looks like. So I want to move back from it first so that you can see that very unique headlight configuration. So Alan, why this car out of all the cars in the world? Well, I, originally I was attracted to the, the body style. It's Bertone which is an Italian coach builder. And I just fell in love uh, with the recessed headlights for racing mm -hmm. and the hips on the fenders, the front and back. So come on along with me and we'll show those hips. So these are the hips that you can see. Look at how sharp that edge is on those hips. I will stand back and show you a side shot. I know you're thinking, Lou, you missed the side. I'll get to that, but since he was talking about that, I just wanted to show you what drew him to that. That is fantastic. And to think that this was at this time frame, I mean the only thing that was even close was maybe a Corvette and possibly, uh, I'm just trying to think, anything with that body design is pretty unique. I mean uh, maybe a uh, Studebaker, the Speedster. or the, the Studebaker President uh, car, but that's about it. Unfortunately, it's raining today, so we won't be able to take it out, but I definitely didn't want you to, and I'll even turn this so you can see that emblem there of this one. How long have you had this one? Uh, I've owned this for about three years. So relatively new. Yes. And we'll open the trunk on this. <laughs> That's sharp, right? Wow. Gas, tools, so every spare time, tire. Yeah, every time you open it up, you have to put gas in there. Wow, there's your prop rod. You can see mm -hmm. the hole there. Okay, we'll close that. I even want to show that little piece right there. Look at how it's just a typical hinge, <laughs> just like a toolbox. Can you, uh, may you open it there? I just want to show the interior. Open the door. Yeah, please. Now, do you have any idea how many of these were made? Uh, they made 144, and they had a fire in the factory in, in Chicago and they lost 14. Wow. And out of that balance, uh, there's only 87 that are known to exist today. Oh, jeez. So you're saying one of 87, and I'm going to take my time on the interior because I think they've really done it well. Notice... That's an overdrive. That. That's pretty cool. We have the right amount of pedals. miles per hour. There's their logo right in the center. I'll just feature that for a second. This flying horse. So what do you, do you know much about the car or the company or? Well, originally, <clears throat> I think in 1952, Wacky Arnold, he went to the car show in Turin, Italy. And that's where he made a deal with the Italian coach builder, who was Bertone. And he went ahead and ordered uh, 150 of these bodies. Uh, and then the chassis and engine are from Bristol in England. So 
he shipped the chassis and engine to Bertone. They applied the uh, body of the car, and then it was shipped to Chicago, Illinois. And that's where he did the finishing touches. Sometimes he painted them uh, and the, the, the wheels. Um, but basically, uh, just the touch-up was done in Chicago. Now, wasn't it Indiana-based as well? Did they sell yes. them out of Indiana? They sold them out like of that? Indiana. Okay, I seem to remember that. Let's uh, open the hood, shall we? The colors on this are just striking. Oh, no, it's not in there. Sure. I'll feature the Bertone badge. And look at that nice... I want to show you how that works there, that venting, but yet it's almost looks like it was a little bit of steel pushed in. They did it just right. And even as we as we open it, look at the turned metal so there. Plate. Yeah, just really well done. Comfortable car, too. <laughs> that is absolutely fantastic. And I can see it's a six. I think I thought it was an eight, but you can see that. So tell me what you know about this car. Well, the engine was designed af after the BMW 328, uh, the Bristol engine, um, <clears throat> and the car was, the chassis and the engine came from England, and then it was shipped to Italy. Uh, to Bertone, which is a coach builder, they put the body on the car, and then they shipped the car to the United States, and that's where the finishing touches were applied uh, by Wacky Arnold. And I'm noticing on this side too, just look at the fender, inside fender wells. If I'm looking straight down, you can see how they're all the way in so that when you're turning the wheel, it doesn't bounce on anything. We've got our hood scoop there. You can see our bracing to the hood if I step back. I'm going to step on the other side, show this side of the car. Here's our exhaust, but interesting too, we have our linkage here. The Bristol engine. When you're driving this car, how is it to drive? It really gets going in the high RPMs. So anywhere above 4,000 to 5,500 she really picks up in speed. Oh, that's great. It's got a great sound, um, and it, it drives true, and it's uh, it's fast. All the things we like. Unfortunately, we won't be able to drive it today because it is raining outside, or we would. But I just want to show you all the detail of this car because it's just way too good to pass up for sure. Tell me about this right here. Uh, that is a uh, starter switch that you can turn the car on from when you're working on the engine, okay. adjusting carburetors. You can just hit the hit the button and the car will start up. Got you. All right. Well, let's uh, let's do just that. Let's fire it up. for a second. Perfect, thank you. Go ahead, give it a rev. Very nice. Alright, we'll shut that down. Now let's step on out. Or you'd have your plate there. <laughs> What an amazing car. What a great time. Looking forward to seeing you at the Saratoga Auto Museum at the Muscle Car Show on 6323. Thanks so much for sharing this great piece of automotive history with us on the channel. Great, Lou. Nice to have you.